Hi everyone, welcome to Huntington's Kitchen. I'm Gina. And I'm Sydney, and we're dietetic interns at Marshall University. Today we're gonna to be talking about healthy eating on a budget. We know that over-processed high calorie foods may be more available to us, but they may not be the solution for healthy eating. Healthy cooking can be expensive, but it's possible to eat well with minimum cooking times. Sydney, why do we want to eat those high processed foods? Well, you know, we know that processed foods are low in fiber, high in sodium, high in saturated fats, high in calorie, and not very nutrient rich. Whole foods are nutrient rich, which means that they are abundant in fiber, protein, vitamins, and minerals that are good for our bodies. Whole foods may not be the cheaper option at all times, but if we think about the health benefits compared to processed foods, it's a better option. So today we've prepared five tips for you and we're gonna prepare a healthy meal of salmon cakes, roasted broccoli, and sweet potato fries. Yum. So let's get started and head over to the kitchen. First, you always want to create a grocery list. Prioritize your dollars for nutrient-rich foods. This can be handwritten, typed, or created on free apps on your phone. Then check your fridge, freezer, and pantry. This can give you an idea of what items you already have, reducing the amount of items needed to be added to the list. We want to use the perishable items that we already have first to reduce waste. Also, try to prepare meals that have similar ingredients throughout the week. Also, we have a lot of eggs and 1% milk. I can make another recipe this week with these ingredients, or I can make more salmon cakes to be eaten later this week. Add produce to the list that is in season. This means that the produce is picked at peak flavor and generally is more abundant, making it sold at a lower price. Sweet potatoes and broccoli are in season, and that will go well with our salmon cakes. Sweet potatoes are a great source of vitamin A, which is seen by the vibrant orange color inside compared to a regular white potato. Vitamin A is beneficial for our eyes and skin. Broccoli is a great source of vitamin C, which is beneficial for our immune system, which is going to help strengthen our immunity to fight off germs and viruses. So once you've made your grocery list, there are many tools that we can use to save money. We can look at things like advertisements for our grocery stores, make sure we're purchasing in season, and using food that's already in our pantry to make meals on a budget. But what about once we're already in the store? Let's look at some tools for that. Now that we're in the store, let's take a look at some price tags to understand what to buy on a budget. When looking at fresh options, we want to look at the price tag that which will show us that it's priced per pound. So we can adjust the amount we're getting. But when it's prepackaged, like in frozen or canned options, we can see that it is a fixed price. By looking at the box on the tag, we can see the price per pound. Here we can see this math written out to make it a bit easier to understand. When looking at the price per amount, that's called unit pricing. We can see that each one of these has a different unit price per pound. We can also see that canned salmon is our best option, coming to $5.92 per pound, meaning it's the best budget-friendly option. This salmon also has anti-inflammatory impacts on the body due to its high sources of omega-3s. Now back to Sydney at the kitchen for tip number three. Tip number three, fresh is the best but canned and frozen produce is just as good, especially on a budget. If the produce you want is not in season, buy canned or frozen. The produce is picked at its peak freshness and can be as nutritious as fresh. Also, they are very affordable and convenient to cook for meals. Remember, rinse and drain your canned vegetables to remove the excess sodium. And Frozen vegetables are very easy to make. You can just put them in the microwave. Even though broccoli is in season, we are going to use frozen broccoli for the meal we are making today. Frozen broccoli can be stored in your freezer and is very convenient to have all year round. Frozen veggies are versatile, but also are very easy to prepare. You can steam, stir fry, stew, or roast them. 
Today we are going to roast our frozen broccoli with our sweet potato fries. This makes for easy preparation and faster cleanup time. To make our side dishes, you will begin by washing and cutting the vegetables. Next on a sheet pan, place the sweet potatoes and broccoli. Drizzle one tablespoon of olive oil on the sweet potatoes and cover the entire pan with your desired seasonings. We put paprika, onion powder, salt, and pepper. Toss the ingredients to coat in seasonings and place in a 425 degree oven for about 20 to 30 minutes, flipping it halfway through. Once flipped, you can drizzle the broccoli with olive oil to create a crispy outside. Now we have two easy, affordable, and nutritious side dishes for our salmon cakes. Tip number four, stock your pantry. You want to make sure to stock up on whole grain, dry good items because they are an easy and affordable way to get in fiber, vitamins, and minerals. The variety of these items are shelf stable and very versatile for many dishes that can be made during the week. Also, we recommend buying these items in bulk when they are on sale. For our salmon patties, we are needing to make a binder to form the shape we want. We can use breadcrumbs made from whole grain bread, whole grain crackers, and oats. Instead of things such as potato chips, which are highly processed, or breadcrumbs made out of white bread, which is a refined sugar. These items are not very nutrient rich. We are using crushed up whole grain crackers and cornmeal as our whole grain option to add to our egg to bind our salmon to form a patty. Before we move on to our fifth and final tip, I would like to remind you that overprocessed, high calorie foods may be more available, but they're not the solution for a healthy diet. Healthy cooking in meals like this can be expensive, but it's possible to eat well with minimal cooking times, just like we're showing you today. Now our final tip is stick to the basics. This will look a little different in every household. But for me, when I'm making salmon patties, I like to use the same seasoning across my entire meal. So we've used this exact seasoning mix in the sweet potatoes, the roasted broccoli, and on the salmon patties. So once we've added this to the salmon patties, we can form them and then pan fry them to then serve with our meal. Also what I like to do is make a seasoning mix in bulk and then put it into a clean, dry, reusable jar to use for the next time I make my meal. Here we can see Sydney making our Greek yogurt dip. Greek yogurt is a great source of protein and calcium, awesome for our bone health, but also adds a lot of flavor to our meal. When we're sticking to basics, such as sheet pan meals, chicken and rice, rice and beans, or pasta and veggies, adding dips and sauces is an amazing way to add a lot of flavor and make our meals more satisfying. So here's our final meal. We've got our roasted broccoli, sweet potato fries, a dipping sauce, and our salmon cakes. Absolutely delicious, and we can make both and then eat it later in the week for up to three days. And also, it only took about 30 minutes to make, which is absolutely amazing. And what's great about the tips we shared today is it'll help us with our main message. We can eat healthy on a budget and with minimum cook times. We just have to remember our first five tips. Number one, plan ahead. Number two, pay attention to the price tag. Number three, fresh is the best, but frozen and canned are just as good. Number four, stock the pantry. And number five, stick to the basics. These whole food ingredients to help us move away from processed foods that are high in saturated fats, refined carbohydrates, and sodium. These tips that we've learned today, we can incorporate into our daily lives slowly, and that will just boost our nutrition and our meal times. Thank you for joining us today. I hope you learned so much about healthy eating on a budget and can use it in your day-to-day -day life. Enjoy!